I am back today with another interesting bufferless 9mm from Bear Creek Arsenal. And if you follow the channel, you'll know I've been reviewing Bear Creek Arsenal products for a very long time. And they continue to innovate and push the limits of what is possible with a high value and budget AR or upper assembly. And this one is no different. If you're unfamiliar, a standard AR-15 uses a buffer tube with a buffer and spring system built into the buffer tube, making it incredibly smooth in most scenarios to shoot and function. And it just works works out well. The complaint though is that if you wanted to stow the stock or fold it over, a lot of companies do make side folding adapters but they can't be deployed while the stock or brace is folded. This on the other hand moves the buffer and spring system inside to the upper assembly as well as a component attaches to the lower assembly allowing you to have a side folding stock or brace system to use it while it is folded to the side. This one also is a side charging upper assembly with a 16 inch rifle barrel chambered in 9mm and you can buy this in two different configurations. You can get it as a complete firearm or you can buy it as the upper with the attachment piece located in the back. And that actually fits on any mil spec lower assembly so you're good to go. So this piece right here actually bolts onto the back using that same buffer tube thread pattern. Everything locks up solid and then your spring and rod as well as a rubber buffer are all inside here. So you can drop this on any standard lower assembly. Either one that takes 9mm mags if you're getting a 9mm upper or a 223 or 556 using the mean arms conversion 9mm magazines. So it is pretty slick option and you don't have to have a ton of extras to grab something like this. The other cool thing about this is one of the most affordable 9mm bufferless designs out there. And again, it's incredibly versatile in two different configurations you get this. I also have the code 704 Tactical for 5% off your Bear Creek Arsenal order. And that's valid on pretty much everything. Occasionally, some sale items it won't be valid on. But the best thing to do is try that code 704 Tactical to save yourself some money. The bufferless 9mm lower start as low as $349, so again, incredibly affordable. And after my code, the price gets closer to about $335, depending on the barrel length and configuration. I would always check their website because they're continuing to update it, add new things to it, so it's pretty slick to see everything that they've come up with. Let's talk about the specs and features of this particular upper assembly and how it performed down at the range, but before we do, I also want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring the ammo for this video. These guys just dropped the prices on 9mm Reman down to $12 a box, and they've got the code 704 Tactical for free shipping on ammo orders over $200. Definitely check them out. They also have a ton of other ammo in stock. So starting from the front and working our way to the back, it comes pretty much with their standard 9mm barrel. It is a kind of blowback operated design, uh, so you're not going to have like a gas block and a gas tube or anything in here. And then you also have that kind of non-directional muzzle device that threads on and you don't necessarily need a crush washer because it is just a general flash hider. This is utilizing one of their basic standard M-Lock rail systems with QD slots at the front and rear and M-Lock slots at the top and bottom. I do really wish this was a monolithic pick rail at the top, but the cut down is incredibly ergonomic and you do have pick rail at the front and back for lights, lasers, sights, things like that. Moving along to the upper receiver, this is where it starts to really differ and really just be its own unique kind of individual upper assembly compared to other bufferless nines and other nine millimeter blowbacks in general. So what you're looking at here is a side charging upper assembly and it is reciprocating. The charging handle is attached to the pole, but it stays out of the way. Now this is a left side charging, which is rather interesting and a right side ejecting. When you open this bolt up, you can actually see clean through the upper assembly. So that is an interesting feature as well. This has been incredibly smooth down at the range and very reliable. Uh, it's been 100% reliable with every ammo I've put through it. But the main ammo I was running was that Callaway Ballistics ammo and I had no feed issues. I had no function issues and it was incredibly smooth down at the range. And it seemed to be a little bit less recoil than a traditional blowback AR9 with a more traditional upper assembly. I don't know if that's because of the rubber buffer back here or the spring tension or the way they've got it set up, but it is a smooth shooter. I mean, I'm just really impressed at the quality of this rifle. I mean, it's just really blown me away.
There's a couple things I want to discuss, including the side folding stock mechanism. So this one right here is from JMAC Customs and Optics Planet sent this one out to the channel for us to try out. I'll be doing a video on this uh, very shortly, but I've also have the code for Optics Planet 704TAC or 704TAC for 5% off. Now, this is rather interesting because the side folding mechanism could potentially interfere with the charging handle if folded to the left. In fact, most of them do. So I like this J-Max custom one because you can adjust the height on the pick rail assembly. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. And when it folds over, you can actually adjust the height of the bar onto the assembly. So it looks like it might interfere and occasionally the shells ding it. But after about 200 rounds folded, I hadn't had a single issue with a shell getting caught or stuck in the folded uh, location. Now, you're not going to be shooting this a lot in the folded position, but it is one of the key features of a bufferless 9 that it could be fired in the folded position. And this works out perfectly. Some other adjustments can be made. And in fact, I can actually drop this down one more rung and completely uh, clear the ejection port. And I have done that, but I feel like it's a little bit more comfortable for me at this location. And it doesn't interfere interfere so this is a pretty slick option especially if you had one of the pistol versions with the side folding brace from jmax tactical you could have a really compact package for a backpack gun or a bug out gun that could be fired with the stock or brace uh, retracted or folded so that's a pretty slick option uh, in a nutshell it's a great upper assembly if you were to buy the complete setup you're going to have everything put together for you so it's a little bit more convenient although assembly of that back plate is not that difficult at all and then it converts it to that standard 1913 pick rail so you can add all of those uh, different braces and stock assemblies the lower assembly works out great the mag release is nice the mags drop free it's got an enhanced trigger guard the trigger is nothing to write home about just a basic mil spec trigger same with the safety but it flows nicely it functions nicely nicely and it integrates well with the upper assembly if you were to buy a complete pistol or rifle from BCA and my code 704 tactical for 5% is still valid on complete assemblies as well not just the upper assemblies. Now I may be getting a lot of questions about the optic. This is one of the new Monstrum Tactical Blackbird 1X Prism Optics. I've just did a review on this, a solid option. I also have codes to grab a Prism Optic like this for as low as $67. So definitely check out that video. I'll also try to add the information about this Prism Optic in the description below. But if you're looking for a unique, functional, and reliable bufferless AR9 that won't break the bank, I'm so glad Bear Creek Arsenal started developing these, and I'm really glad they sent this one out to the channel for us to try out. Again, all of the information and the codes will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.